This is the area of the back garden where I built the pond. First I had to remove all of the plants and even out the soil. The new pond is 8 feet by 11 feet, so I outlined the maximum size using some baking flour from the kitchen. You'll also see a red cord there where I mapped out the shape of the pond. Next it was time for digging. You can see in this photo that I created a shelf within the pond. There are two black bins, one is for the waterfall at one end of the pond and the skimmer basket at the other. Pond kits like the one I used from Aquascape come with a fabric liner and a heavy duty pond liner which is safe for plants and fish. You can see how the pond will start to look at this point. The next step is to add the rocks and stones. The large rocks are placed around the sides of the pond. The gravel is added to the bottom and the pond shelf. You can see a board on top of the waterfall bin here. Before putting the bin in place, it has to be level so the water will flow nicely and everything will look right. Once all the rocks are in, it's time to add the water. This part was really nerve-wracking. I shot this video when the pump was turned on for the first time. I followed all of the instructions, but I was still nervous that something would not work right. But it was all fine and the water flowed beautifully. With everything working properly, the next step is to add water plants and landscape the area around the pond. In the next few weeks, I'll also add some fish. The entire project took me about 25 hours to build, and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. For information on the plants I chose and how to build a pond like this, come visit me at empressofdirt.net.